to be making a dress for my Pleasant Company Kirsten today. I never look at the camera. I look weird right now because I just woke up. So <laughs> I'm going to be making Kirsten's uh, apron, <laughs> apron dress and the apron. So if you don't know what it looks like, it looks like this. So online, I found the patterns for it. American Girl, they used to offer pattern books for their historical dolls. Um, and on the wiki, you can down, on the American Girl wiki page, you can download them. So I downloaded Kirsten's and Felicity's because I have those two dolls. Um, so I downloaded those and I'm gonna be making Kirsten's apron dress and apron later because I'm gonna go eat food and do my dance camp, but I'll do it later, so I'll see you then. I'm back in my sewing room. I still look ugly, but I have Kirsten with me. I usually won't use Kirsten, I'll use Kit because Kit's short hair doesn't get in the way. But I'm using Kirsten because she is Pleasant Company, and this is a Pleasant Company pattern. Sorry, my mom just came in. She needed stuff. My sister's doing a lemonade stand, and she needed stuff from this room. But I have Kirsten, and I have the pattern, and I have my computer. Because my computer has the... Here, let's... I broke my tripod again, so... We'll do what we gotta do. This is the dress I made before for Kirsten. That was just some random pattern I had, but um, I'm going to cut this out and um, we can get started. Alright, got everything cut out, but I just wanted to show you these patterns. I don't know if you can see. It says copyright. It might be backwards. Well, on it, it says copyright 1990 by Pleasant Company. So these are the Pleasant Company patterns. That's cool. From like the 90s. So I'm going to go. I got all the pieces cut out. I cut out the pieces for the dress in pink and the pieces for the apron in white. And I'm trying to make it as close to the original dress as possible. The original dress was pink with a white apron. So pretty close so far. But let's just get to sewing. It's voiceover time. Okay, so first you want to take the front and the back and line them up at the shoulders and sew shoulder seam, just like I'm doing there. See my finger with the line? Yes, my finger is very great. Let's do that. Next, you're gonna sew the tiniest hem on the planet. I pinned mine down, but you are going to clip on the curves and so it lays flatter and that will help as my scissors are here and they're showing okay so next you're going to sew gathering stitches along the top edge where it's marked on the pattern i marked mine with safety pins so you can see okay so you have next you're going to hem it with another small hem but not as small as the other one and line it with rickrack on the edges just like I'm showing here. Okay, after you've done that, you're gonna take a piece of elastic. I think it's three and a quarter inches and you're going to stretch it and you're going to stretch it with a zigzag stitch and sew it all along the edge, how I am failing to show. So that's what it should look like at the end and do that on the other sleeve. So the sleeves will look the same. So now you're going to sew the sleeves to the bodice I on the sleeve hole. I pinned mine, of course, with the good sides together so you don't have any ugly seams. And that's what it should look like when it's done. But next, you are going to flip and press the shoulder, sleeve, shoulder seams inward and sew a line of stitches to like kind of help it stay down along the edge right where I'm pointing it to with my finger and do that on both sides. So it should look like that. Mine's a little messy, sorry about that. Not the best with 
neat stitches. Oopsie. But, yeah. Next, you are going to pin, take it, and fold it so it starts looking like a shirt top. And, like, fold it and line up the sleeve edges and the back seam. Next, you're going to take the waistband and with good sides together, sew that to the bottom edge of the bodice. Like, and then you're going to take the skirt, hem the bottom with a smaller hem. It's a very long piece of fabric. And then you're going to tape, take the top and sew gathering stitches along the top. And I didn't show this, but I sewed it on to the waistband, the bottom edge of the waistband, just like that with the good sides together. And next you're going to fold it in the back and sew up to about where my finger shows to close up the back. Then you're going to fold over the edges and sew them down using a very small hem to seal in the back. Then you're going to do that on the other side and like both sides and you're going to sew velcro on it just like that so one one velcro on one side and then full i think i may have folded over one of the sides then you're going to sew take make two little bows out of either cord or white ribbon i made mine out of white ribbon and sew them onto the sleeves by hand and then you're done okay so here's the dress so this here's the dress um i took her little things out so she's just got the braids but this is the dress it's getting kind of late so i'm gonna go um and also uh, these are the bows attached to the sides this is the final dress i'm gonna make the apron tomorrow because it's getting kind of late as i said before so see you guys tomorrow okay so i'm back i did my makeup and it looks really intense Maybe not in a good way, but at least I look better than I did in those laugh clips. Hey, there's still a mask in my pocket. Um, but I'm back, and I'm gonna get back, and today we're gonna get back up. I need to start making a script for these kind of things so I don't, like, die, but I'm going to make the apron now. First, you want to take the apron front and the back and sew them together at the shoulders with the bigger side together, and it'll match up. Then you're going to very make a very tiny hem along the edge and line it with the rick rack like that all around the edge of the neckline so it should look like that then you're going to do the same thing on the sides but don't do the bottom as you can see i'm saying no no do the bottom <laughs> but yeah line that then you're going to hem the edge of the skirt and do the same thing on the hem of the like apron thing with and line it with rickrack as well very very long skirt okay next you're going to take the waistband and fold it and iron it in half like that as you can see and then we show pictures of my iron it's very hot and have adult supervision with the iron then you're going to take the top and using the pattern to line it up you're going to fold it in half like this and I'm very bad at explaining this. Just watch me and watch what I'm doing here because I su I will suck at explaining this. Just see what I'm doing and sew it on using the pattern to mark where you need to put the everything where and then sew it on like I'm showing. Next, it's going to look like this. It's going to look kind of strange, but because it'll be but you're going to fold over the top and bottom whoa lighting and iron so it should look like this when you're done and that it will be the front just like that and it and i don't know what i'm doing in this clip but i'm just showing you that it looks like that next you're going to take the top edge of the skirt and gather it to fit between like between the two straps fitting it between the two straps because that is how long you want to make the skirt. After that, you're going to take it and like using bias tape to like cover the edge, you're going to sew it down like you're using bias tape, like folding it over to the edges and doing it like that. 
So it should look like this. Mine's a little chunky, but um, that's what it should look like when you're done. Mine got a little bit messed up in the middle, but it looks good in the end. And you're going to fold over the two things. You can either do a button or a um, snap. A button, snap, Velcro, whatever you want. The, you, it, the original one did have a button, but I don't know how to do buttons. So just sew on Velcro. And this is the dress. Um, I really like how it turned out. As I said before, my stitches are a little bit... I didn't say this before, but my stitches are a little bit messy. Um, but I believe that this is the best thing I've ever made. It looks really good, I think. It, for me, it's good. I'm not really professional at all yet. But this is the back. I ended up closing it with Velcro instead of a button, as the pattern calls for. But I think that this looks really good. And my next video, I think, is going to be a matching flower crown to go with this because the original Pleasant Company dress came with a flower crown, and I thought, why not make a flower crown to go with it? And also, I just wanted to show you guys these really cool things. They're yarn dolls. Um, my aunt had Kirsten's craft book, and the yarn dolls were the little ones that went with it, and I thought that this one matched her dress. <laughs> so this is Kirsten's yarn doll, so... Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video, which will... don't know what it'll be, but it will either be something. But I will have a flower crown craft out soon, so look forward to that to go with this dress if you decide to make it. As I said, you can go to the American Girl Wiki page and search up Kirsten's patterns, and you should be able to find them, download them on your computer, or phone or i downloaded mine on my computer and make this dress if you want to so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye